You know what? Let's do this patch rundown thing. Well, because uh, yeah, we'll just do this right now, and I'll make a, I'll, make, I'll put this up on YouTube in case people miss it, anyways. So these are basically this is like data mined uh, stuff from like next. You know, it's like the up on the PB for like next patch and. I'm pretty sure most of this is correct. I think they said there's like a few things that are not fully that's gonna be changed or whatever before it goes live, but most of this is like legit. So uh, basically they are buffing a Kali. They're giving her more health. Yes, sir. I never even thought a Kali was that bad. It's just all the other units in that comp suck, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Blitzcrank, they're nerfing three star ultimate so it doesn't one shot. I guess they don't like Blitzcrank randomly one shotting you with ultimate. Uh, Camille, they're nerfing her mana. So it's 60 to 0 050 to 0 60, so it'll basically we'll just cast less, which is probably a good nerf since I think Camille's kind of broken. And they buffed her three star by 10. Uh, Cho'Gath, they made it to where he has more base health. And they buffed him in hyper roll where he gets two stacks for a fee, so not really that big of a difference, I feel like. Um, Darius, they nerfed his healing, and they made it also have higher higher total mana, so he doesn't do it as much. I honestly didn't even think Darius is that broken right now or that good, but whatever. He's probably outperforming the other one cost anyways. Uh, Echo, they basically made it to where it's completely useless to ever go Echo 3, because going from Echo... 2 to Echo 3 is only a 10% attack speed buff, so I would literally never go Echo 3 anywhere ever. Which is kind of silly, I, like I thought Echo 3 was kind of cool. Uh, Fiora, they're making her... Uh, whatchamacallit? They're making it to where she has higher AD scaling on her uh, ultimate. And also they're increasing her... Is this base attack damage? Yeah, the base attack damage on it as well. So 126 to 135, which is actually like a pretty big buff to Fiora. She might actually be the primary carry in Challengers now with like these buffs, but we'll see. Looks really good. This is actually, this is a very, very big buff. Um, Galio, they're, I, they're basically making it to where they don't want the Colossuses to be auto attacking people to death. They lowered his AD and they raise his like spell damage on his ultimate and they raise his health they want basically want it to be like a tank caster i don't think they want him to be like playing Cla i don't they don't think i don't think they want people playing clappy or some shit which is like kind of silly if you ask me i thought i thought clappy was a fun build but i don't know maybe they just hate they hate like colossus is like running around auto attacking killing people uh, they're nerfing garen three by five percent on the missing health and also making the spell have higher mana cost which i think is kind of silly i didn't even think that that garen reroll comp was even that good anymore you like very rarely see it win, but I mean, I'm sure it's like stronger in low elo lobbies where you can just sit there and press the D key. Uh, they're nerfing Heimerdinger, which is really weird. They nerf five on the two star and 10 on the three star, which kind of seems silly to me. I already thought that Yordles were struggling in the first place. I don't know what that, why they would like nerf the, this or I don't know. I don't get that nerf. Uh, they nerfed Jace armor and Amar by 10. Jace is kind of broken, so I can agree with that. Um, Jin which is the worst four cost in the game. They're basically making it to where his ultimate does less damage, but it takes 10 less mana for it to get to casting. So I think that they won, which I can agree with. I feel like Jin actually does good damage when he does ult, but he just never fucking ults. And if you don't have Scholar, he sure as hell is never ulting. So I can agree with this change and maybe this will help him out a little bit. Um, Jinx, they nerfed her attack speed and also nerfed uh, her ultimate damage by a little bit, um, which is like, that's okay. I think Jinx is kind of broken. I can agree with that. Uh, Cassidy, they nerfed the three star mana reeve. So they're basically just like killing the Garen Cassidy and reroll comp. I don't know why they're doing that. I think it's like fun to have reroll comps in the game. Like they should be in there. I don't, I really don't like the idea of like nerfing them into the ground to the point where like they're not playable. I mean, I don't think that this is a change that's going to make it unplayable by any means, but I don't like them, like, nerfing stuff like that. Uh, Katarina, they basically gutted the living shit out of her. I don't think anyone's going to play Kat reroll anymore, because they nerfed the Shumpo. I'll come back. They nerfed the Shumpo by 70, which is a huge, huge damage nerf, and they made it to where the mana you get back is 20 different. Like, they fucking destroyed Kat. Like, Kat doesn't exist anymore. They fucking murdered it. 
And then they even nerfed Cog 3 by 1% on his ultimate too. So they just they triple nerfed the, the Cog Garen reroll comp. I don't like when they do nerfs like this where they 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 nerf three different units in a composition all at the same time. So it basically makes the composition obsolete. Uh, the same thing with the Katarina. They nerfed Echo and they nerfed Blitz and they nerfed Katarina all at the same time. Like I feel like composition sh like that should be viable, but like just tone it down like a little bit. Like even if they just nerfed Katarina, I think that would have been enough. There's like no reason to nerf like all the stuff. Um, Lissandra got a 50 damage nerf and a 75 at three star. I don't think that this is really the nerf that like she needed. I think they needed to tone down the attack damage nerf. Like this attack damage cutting is so fucking obnoxious. It should be a flat number and it shouldn't be a percent based number. I don't like that. The, I don't like the way that they went with this uh, this type of nerf. Um, and they nerfed Lux by uh, now she only gets back twenty mana when she kills something instead of thirty, so she's not going to be spamming her ability as much. I never even thought Lux was like that strong on this patch, to be honest. So I'm not even sure why they would nerf her. Like I feel like uh, I feel like Victor is why that that comp is strong. Victor and and Vex, not not Lux. Like I don't think they should have ever nerf Lux. Uh, Oriana, they're making it to where... I like the Ori changes. Basically, they're lowering the stun duration, but they're making it to where, uh, there is lower, uh, top mana. So you can put, like, a Sojin on Ori now, and she might be able to get off, like, multiple casts during a team fight. And also, she's gonna be, like, spamming her ability a lot more and shielding people. So I actually like this change a lot. Ori might actually be, like, a good item holder now if she's consistent with her targeting. Um... Samira, they nerfed Samira reroll like, again. I don't know why they cut the the negative the armor cut in half to twenty, and on top of that, they also lowered the damage on her ability, which is like, was anyone saying Samira reroll was broken? Like I don't see anyone saying that. Like I don't know. They just hate reroll builds, I guess. Uh, Seraphine, they basically nerfed three star Seraphine's attack speed. Which, I think it's only like a thing for double up. I'd like never see people going 3 star Seraphine outside of double up. Uh, Shaco, they buffed Shaco to now have uh, more health and less total mana on the ability. So, and also a little bit more damage as well. So I think that they, they want to shift Assassins towards more of like a Shaco carry. And also this is like a buff to Syndicate to help them out in their mid game too. Which I think this is the right direction to go with that. Uh, Scion, they basically are turning him into a stun bot. They doubled the duration of the stun, but they almost cut the damage in half, which I think is fine. Um, I think Scions should be a tank. Like, that should be his role in a composition. Uh, they increase his armor, his MR, his health. Like, they basically just made him way tankier, which a uh, three second stun is, like, actually not bad. I don't mind that. Especially if we're going to get, like, multiple rotations of it off in a team fight. Uh, Tarek kills himself. They nerfed Tarek by uh, 50, which is, this is basically another nerf to that. Arcanist comp, so that's two nerfs we've already seen so far. Uh, Trundle, they nerfed uh, his AD steal by 10. And uh, they also, uh, the attack speed reduction is also nerfed by 25%. So I think Trundle reroll will still be viable with like, even with these changes, to be honest. But we'll see. I, I never really thought the attack speed reduction was like the big deal, was it? Uh, Urgot, they basically gave him the Jin treatment where they lower the overall damage of Urgot, but they made it to where he's going to be able to cast a little bit quicker by lowering his overall mana, which I think is the right direction for that unit as well. Uh, Vex, they just like completely gutted the living shit out of Vex. Like they nerfed uh, basically the shield damage, the shield strength, and the shield scaling, which makes no sense to me because they nerfed every unit in Arcanist and... They're just triple nerfing Vex. And they also nerfed Heimerdinger, so now Yordles are like unplayable garbage. They literally nerfed every fucking thing in, on like Yordles and Arcanist. Like, they just killed these comps. Like, this is way too many nerfs to be hitting Arcanist with. Because they nerfed Victor too on top of that. By, not by that much, like 25 is not the end of the world, but... The increased total mana, that's the one that really is the... That hurts. That's an, that's an extra auto attack for the cast. So, I feel like Arcanists are going to be unplayable next patch. So, I don't know. Like, this, this is like, ugh. Uh, which I think is really bad, because, like, what the fuck do you even play if you get Rods and Tears now? Do you have to play, like, Oriana Carrier or some shit? 
I don't fucking know. I feel like if you get if you get tier start next patch, you literally just auto lose the game, because like they just murdered Arcanus. Um, Yone, they lowered his attack damage, which is fine. Yone is like pretty ridiculous sometimes. Uh, Yumi, they changed the way that her targeting works, which is okay. Goes to lowest health instead of nearest ally. Uh, Zillion, they buffed the attack speed reduction on his ultimate, which is... I think that's fine. Zillion, I already think Zillion's like a pretty good unit, to be honest. Uh, they buffed Academy uh, on the 4, the 6, and the 8, which is fine, because like nobody even plays those anyway, so they want... They basically want to bring back that vertical trait, which I think is the right way to go with it. Uh, Arcanist, they nerfed the Arcanist thing by 5% for the Arcanist, so that's another nerf to Arcanist right there on top of that, but they did buff 8 Arcanist by 20. <coughs> I still don't think people are gonna play eight Arcanists unless they have a double spat or some shit. Uh, bodyguards, they buffed the shield by 100 for four. And then they also like super buffed the eight and the six, but dude, nobody's ever gonna go six or eight. Like that is like way too ridiculous. Like that's, that's, so, that's so hard to get eight of these. So good luck. Unless you have like triple spat or some shit. Uh, they buffed Bruisers at 6 by 50, which I think is reasonable. Challengers, they nerfed pretty much all the way down the line by 5, 10, 15%. Which is okay, because I thought six, 6 Challengers is, like, ridiculous, to be honest. Like, it's good that they did nerf that. They basically reworked Chemtech, which is good, because, like, I think right now if you go 7 or 8 Chemtech, it's basically, like, a fake trait. So what they did is where they basically gave it a point where it's actually good to go 7 and 8. Or seven and nine rather um because it increases the health regen and also the attack speed so i'm sure you're gonna see like a lot more like chemtech uh vertical compositions or whatever like i think this is actually like 100 percent attack speed that is a lot of attack speed and 10 percent health regen is actually like a lot of health regen so i definitely get that like i like the direction they took with the chemtech rework in this situation uh clockwork they buffed it all the way down the line but i mean maybe with the oriana buffs like clockwork will actually be pretty good now uh, by going like four and, and six clockwork. Um, so like maybe this will be like actually something to, to do with this. Uh, Colossus is now take 25% less damage, which I think is just already something that's in the game, isn't it? Don't they already take 25% less damage? I don't know if this is just like a, a wording fix or something, but I, I could be wrong. Uh, they buffed five tyrants by 25% or, or five imperial by 25% on the, on the tyrants. So I think that they won, uh, I think like Imperial, even though they did nerf Samira 3 will actually be like pretty decent uh, with a lot of these changes, especially if you can like an Imperial spat and like put Imperial on somebody like, I'm sure there's some like build with like Imperial Fiora or some crazy shit like that that's gonna pop the fuck off. Uh, I think that'll be pretty good. Um, Syndicate, they basically raised the armor in MR, but they nerfed uh, seven Syndicate by a little bit, but not really by like that much. It's basically like a net neutral almost. Um, which I definitely think that Syndicate needed some love, uh, especially on like the mid and early game. And they nerfed Darius on top of that, so like these are like definitely much needed buffs. But I think with the buffs to Shaco and the minor buffs to Akali, I think Syndicate will actually like be pretty decent. Uh, they've extremely buffed uh, Twin Shot on the six and the four. I think without like having the really high tier augments for this, like the Prismatics, I don't think you'll ever play something like this high. But I could see somebody playing four Twin Shot. It gives 10 more AD now, which is like, okay. I could see that being okay, maybe. Uh, Ionic Spark now does 25% less, which is kind of weird. I thought Ionic Spark was in a pretty good spot, but I, I mean, they hate that item, I guess. So fuck Ionic Spark. Uh, blue buff now gives 50 starting mana um, instead of 20. Basically, what the reason that they did this, and I, I do like this change, is that uh, on most units, getting that first cast off is super important. And if you don't have a fuck ton of starting mana or Sojin, like let's say Victor as an example, then you're never getting your ability off. And Sojin just outshines Blue Buff in almost literally every single situation. So this is gonna actually allow you to like put Blue Buff on like some of those type of units like Orianna and Victor that actually have like very big mana pools to actually get the first cast off. So I, li I like the direction with this change because already Tier felt like the worst item in the game. And this is actually going to be making tier like a little bit more playable. Uh, Frozen Heart, they changed it to 35% attack speed reduction, which I think is a good change. I mean, that's, this is like pretty much the annoying uh, attack speed reduction from 
uh, last set where you know people put Frozen Heart on Diana. Like 35% is pretty fucking brutal, so people will be running this in Assassins and whatnot. I think this is actually gonna be super annoying. Um, this is just Orn, whatever the fuck changes. These don't do anything. Uh, all for a one day nerf. This is where like all the Imperials get like the health changes. I'm pretty sure Imperials are gonna be strong next patch, so even with like the, the, the nerf to this and to Samira. They buff Cram Session by 10%. They kind of want like Academy to be played more. This is like whatever change, it's okay. Um, and now that one, I'm just gonna kind of breeze through these because a lot of these are like double changes. Basically, to sum it up, uh, they made it to where if you get Prismatic, inst instead of getting two, it's where it's like plus two Academy. Now you get two Academy Emblems, so you can actually. This is a pl this is a nerf and a buff because it's a buff because you can put two Academy Emblems on people, right? You can buff two units, but it's a nerf because you have to be a higher level to reach like, cause you have to actually have units to put those academy things on, right? And it's gonna be harder to hit like the full vertical. Like you have to be level eight or level nine to even have the units to put those on, you know? You don't just not, you can't be like level six with like six academy, you know? Or eight, or eight academy or whatever the fuck. Cause you won't even have enough units on the board to like even get that, which is an interesting change. And that's pretty much the same thing for all of these like arcane and even like these ones, the gold ones get the emblems, but that's, you already have that. Uh, they changed Spellblade. I think Spellblade actually got nerfed. Basically, it's like after you cast your spell, you get the damage instead of like on every auto, so you can't attack- you can't stack attack speed to do damage. Which is another nerf to Arcanist, by the way. Uh, and also the changes they made it basically to where, uh, it, they wanted to make it to where the, all the Econ traits aren't just overshadowing everything. So all of these traits are kind of basically Econ traits in themselves. Because if you get Arcanist Heart, now you get a Twist of Fate, right? So you, you automatically have- Arcanist. If you get an Assassin Emblem though, you get an Echo, right? Which is three gold and a unit. So basically it's like you're getting hidden, you're getting the, the Assassin Emblem and you're getting three gold, which is super nice, right? Uh, same thing with this, you get a Talon. That's two gold plus the Assassin thing. This one, two Bruiser Emblem, we talked about this. Trundle, all the same thing down the line. Like you get the Chemtech, you get a Zac now. So you can actually like have a better early game. And this is where it gets kind of weird uh, Clockwork Soul, right? Like these kind of weird ones. All the late game units for Clockwork are like, it's like Oriana and Jin and stuff like that, right? Now you get eight gold when you get like a Prismatic like that. So if you start the game and you have plus two Clockwork, you also get plus eight gold, right? Which is, in my opinion, a really good change because eight gold at the start of the game is a hell of a lot fucking better than just plus two Clockwork, you know? Like you, you actually won't auto lose the fucking game if you get Clockwork Soul. Which I think is just, that's a super fucking good change. Uh, they buffed uh, all the Stand Uniteds by one, which is a good change. I thought Stand United was like not very good in the first place, but I think it'll be good now. Uh, same thing, Enchanter, you get the eight gold. Um, and then also you get the units and all these other ones. They nerfed Featherweight by 10%. Featherweight was obnoxious broken, so I agree with that. Uh, they This is a weird change. They basically nerf item grab bag. You don't get a reforger anymore, so. I did think item grab bag was kind of broken, but I think for item grab bag two, you should at least get one reforger. Maybe not item grab bag one, you don't get the reforger, but at least item grab bag two gives us a one reforger. Uh, and then they nerfed knife's edge by five, five, and five, which is fine. I thought knife's edge was super broken. They buffed this shitty mercenary trade, but mercenaries fucking suck. Um, and then what else? Eight gold on this. Uh, they changed March of Progress to be a Prismatic, and now you get five bonus experience, which is basically going to make it to where before, if you got March of Progress, even at the beginning of the game, you will never get level nine, ever. Now with this 5% bonus experience change, you actually will be able to get level nine, but it's a Prismatic, so it's an okay change. I already thought Mar March of Progress as a gold trade was already broken, so I I'm down with either. This is a fine change. It's okay. Uh, this is an interesting change. Duet now gets 500 health to, to the, all the people in the spotlight. So if you get shared the spotlight, would also get 500 health to all the people sharing the spotlight too. So Duet's actually like maybe a playable augment now. I think it's a pretty good change. Um, and then Underdogs got... Uh, oh, I just got a wording, like a typo change. And then Windfall got nerfed by five. So that's all the changes.
Some pluses and minuses with the patch. I don't like how they nerfed Arcanus too much, but you know, it is what it is. 